Now consider what happens with kinetics when we work with pressures. And here's an example where we're interested in the change of the total pressure of the system uh, as it goes along. And so we have two NOs plus chlorine gas gives us two NLCLs, okay? And at the partial pressure of NO is decreasing, that's this one right here, at a rate of 56 torr per minute. What's the rate of change of the total pressure of the vessel? Well, first off, we have to remember that the number of moles, and hence the concentration, is proportional to the pressure. We can prove that by ideal gas law equation or even our combined gas law equations. And also recall that the total pressure is given by the pressure of each of the individual gases. And therefore, if the total pressure is given by each of the individual gases, then the change of pressure of the total with respect to time is going to be equal to the sum of the totals of all the other ones changing with time. Okay, and so what we need to do is, is once we figured out what each of, we need to figure out what the other uh, changes in pressure per unit time are for the other two components. And since this is true, we can get the change of the total pressure just by adding up the different rates. So, these quantities, these rates are related this way, that the total rate, that the rate is one half, remember you take your, take the reciprocal of whatever's in front, the prefix, so that's one half <coughs> the change in pressure for NO2, change in time, remember that's negative because it's decreasing, and that's equal to one over one, we'll leave that off, but it's still, it's a change in pressure, partial pressure of chlorine with respect to time, minus. And then finally we have, that's plus because we're increasing, we have one half the pressure of NLCO2 with respect to time. Now recall this 56 torr per minute, that's not this rate, that's this rate, that's this term right there. So we can go ahead and substitute that in, because now we're really only interested in the different partial pressures. And if we substitute in 56 torr per minute, that is minus one half 56 torr per minute. And that is equal to the change in the partial pressure of chlorine with respect to time, and that's equal to one half the change of pressure of NLCL2 with respect to time. Okay, so for our for our change in pressure with time, so far we've got this. That's decreasing, so we need to put that in there as minus 56 torr per minute. And now look, we have the change in PCL2, chlorine gas, with respect to time, because that's one half of 56. So what's one half of 56? Well, that's 28. So it's minus 28 torr per minute. Now all we need is this. Now, if we say, if we, if we ignore this part right here, we can solve, and two would come over here, and two over two would give us just 56 torr. And so that's plus 56 torr, because that's how much it's increasing per minute. Look, they're all in the same units, so this is very convenient. They should be in the same convenient units. Plus, fi plus 56, minus 56, minus 28, gives us minus 28 torr per minute for the total pressure, which is exactly what we're looking for. And there it is.